Hey everyone! I am back today with more My Hero Academia and boy are things heating up. So I'm obviously feeling a little bit more <laughs> calmed down and composed um, from my last video because as you know at the end of my last video I was just like my brain just broke. Um, so so now that I've had some time to like process it and everything, I know that um, the individual who is revealed as the predecessor of All Might has the same name as uh, Shigaraki's real name. Um, the reason I was kind of like going back and forth on it is because, you know, like really, like somebody like me who has problems with names anyway, is it really necessary <laughs> for someone to have three names, like Shigaraki, I think like Tomura I've heard him called, and Shimura. <laughs> But it's all good. Like I knew, I I knew that I had heard him referred to as Shimura, like by um, by All for One or by somebody before. Um, <clears throat> so I kind of knew, but I just like was trying to put it together, which is like when I had my mutter 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 moment. <laughs> I had my own mutter 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 moment at the end of the last video. Um, so. So, this was not explicitly said, but making an educated guess, um, we know that Shigaraki has that hand that he wears over his face, and he calls it Father, and All Might's predecessor has the same last name as Shigaraki, or, or family name, I guess, uh, last name. Um, so, I'm guessing that that's the dad, and <clears throat> we know that it kind of appears that All for One um, seems to have kind of taken Shigaraki in following a traumatic event, I would say, based on, um, what we've seen in the flashbacks, and I know, like, at first I was thinking, like, oh, did, did Shigaraki, like, kill his dad or something? Because All For One was saying, it's okay, it's not your fault, but now I'm thinking if, um, his dad was All Might's predecessor, now I'm wondering if, like, his dad was killed by a hero or something because um, he has this like very skewed idea of heroes and of and of All Might. So I mean, I don't even know. I don't know how this whole thing involves All Might, but I I have a feeling there's some major drama ahead, and I personally cannot wait. Um, so that was like the big highlight for me. It was a great app. Um, the the like now we have Baka go back, and like honestly. I did not know, like, where everything was going um, with Bakugo, because I was wondering, like, is this going to be a situation where he's going to be, like, gone from the rest of the crew for, like, several, <laughs> several episodes, like, several seasons? I mean, I don't even know. Like, I don't, I stay away from spoilers and everything, so... It's really, it, to me, it's like anyone's guess, like what's going to happen and how things are going to unfold. And I love that they typically do not go with a very predictable route um, when it comes to stuff like that. So, so you can't really say like, oh, well, it's Bakugo, so they're probably going to get him back in a couple of, no, it might not be like that. Like it might, you just never even know on this show. Um, so, um, with all that being said, I personally cannot wait to get to, um, this next part of the story. I know there's some major drama ahead, so without further ado, I think I'm going to save my major rant for the outro. So let's get started with more My Hero Academia. Let's go, friends, plus ultra. <laughs> Oh, this is like young All Might. It was okay. Well, I'm officially surprised. So his predecessor was a woman, which is really cool. I just like. I, I had assumed, but like that, I see now that assumption had no basis in like fact or reality. Like why couldn't a woman hold it, uh, one for all? That's awesome. And, and also like during that moment, super young All Might, just reminds me so much of Izuku. 
Um, it's not even that he looks like him, it's just, I don't know. They did such a good job of like giving me the Izuku vibe <laughs> off of him. Because <laughs> that's like the vibe I got. I'm like, oh my god, it's like looking at like a little blonde Izuku. <laughs> they do their job so well on this show. <laughs> That's right. That's Bakugo for thanks, guys. So they had a, a close connection, All Might and Shimura. I'm so glad Gran Torino's there. He better be alright too. I will not accept Gran Torino or All Might being put in mortal danger. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, All Might. I'm over this guy. Who is that? Oh no, this is oh, and the cat's out of the bag. Oh no. He wants everyone to lose hope. You know what? I'm gonna cheer when this guy gets it. Grandson! Okay. And there's the explanation of the whole father thing. Ooh. Not that music. How long have I been saying that? Oh my god. That's right, keep up hope. Smile, my friend. Now more than ever, you need to smile. Oh man, I'm gone already. <laughs> oh no. You know what? I'm glad to see Endeavor, I'm not gonna lie. He's, you know what? You guys were right. He's, uh, he's good at what he does. What makes him a hero is still there. Dang it, you guys! Someone fan those flames, please. Oh, dang. It can't end this way. It's not going to end this way. That imagery. Oh, 
で身に振らなかっていたとはまさかクロさんだった Oh, you miscalculated big time. Come on, All Might. Yes! Gee, I wonder who. I love this chick already. But it's gone. One for all's gone. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. I gotta clear my tears just to be able to read the subtitles. <laughs> personally apologize for looking like a melted wax candle right now <laughs> because the tears the tears just won't stop <sighs> like I can I just need to catch my breath because I have so much to say but I'm just like I feel like emotionally overwhelmed <laughs> I'm just glad All Might's not dead. I really thought a couple times there, like, that was going to be it. He was going to use up everything and it was going to kill him. I don't know if that's, I don't, I don't know if that's coming or not. Um, I honestly don't know. I don't know if he can just go on living as an ordinary person without one for all with his injuries. Because I know, based on what he said, and based on that last scene, his one for all is gone. Like, that's it. All right, you guys. <laughs> Again, I'm just like, <laughs> I have to go do all my makeup all over again. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the scene where He's mustering his strength, and he says, farewell to all for one, but in the same breath, farewell to one for all, is some of the most beautifully done storytelling, animation, <laughs> character development, like I have ever seen. Um... <clears throat> So, 
it really is all up to Izuku now. Um, I do not know if All Might is going to live. I hope he does. I was so glad that that last punch just didn't kill him. Because in my mind, like, I felt like that might hop that that might really happen. Um, but honestly, he's very, very injured. And I don't know, like, how long his body can live now. I, I really hope he does live and that he's just retired. Um, but we know that what kept powering him was thinking that he still has so much to teach Izuku. You know, he may not have one for all anymore, but I think he proved in this episode that physical power is a small part of what makes a hero. Um, I was so happy at everyone's reaction when they saw him deflate because I felt like in that moment, that was what All For One wanted. He wanted the public to lose faith in All Might, to lose faith in just faith and hope and everything good. And instead of doing that, they started cheering him. They never lost that hope because he had just inspired it in them so much. And that was what gave him the power to go on that and knowing that he, he still had um, things to teach Izuku. And I just love that. Because I feel like ever since we've seen um, like the whole growth of the, the League of Villains, led by All for One, I feel like has been about um, trying to tear down um, the idea of heroes. And we saw a lot of like Stain's ideals with that. And some of like, yes, have, have some of the ideals of a hero in this society become corrupt? Yes, absolutely. Like, we see how being a hero doesn't make you a good person. It doesn't mean you necessarily even want to really help people. You can have completely, like, other selfish motives. But at the end of the day, it all might just embodies everything about um, being a true hero. Saving people physically and saving people's hearts. Um, I just, um, I'm just rambling now because <laughs> I'm just like, this is just pure raw emotion. But essentially just, I'll wrap it up because I do want to, I'm going to film the next one immediately after this. Um, but man, what an app. Uh, what, what an arc. What a show. <laughs> I love it. Um... Amazing, amazing stuff. Beautifully done. Um, I would really encourage, you know, anyone who kind of has the idea of anime as, oh, it's like a cartoon, indulge yourself and give this a watch because this is just beautiful work. It's beautiful storytelling. And, like, Oh, just the way that everything's led up to here, but I have, so, I, I have more to say, but I'm going to wrap this up because I'm rambling. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the, the intro for the next one because I'm about to go do that right now. Um, guys, who, so like you guys in the comments that told me red, white, and blue, I happen to remember that and I, I just want to thank you so much for that <laughs> because... Um, I, I, uh, I was proud to be an American at that point, the, uh, the United States smash. Um, also, if you're watching this early, it means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. Sorry, I forgot to say that at the beginning. Um, if not, also thank you so much, but I hope you will consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you next time. I need to go take a breath, have a snack, something. <laughs> and I'll see you for the next episode of My Hero Academia. Bye, guys!